Good day, everyone, and welcome to episode 30 in our series on Airport CEO. Some of you who, uh, if you're coming back to the series, will notice a difference in our airport between where we left off in episode 29 and where we're starting here in episode 30. And that is because between closing 29 and starting this episode 30, there was in fact another episode that didn't get published. And what happened was, I started the episode and went ahead with the great baggage episode number two. And as you may recall, we had two aircraft stands here and you can see the gates and the doors are still there. And I built in the extension to the airport there for the baggage handling system. And I built the area down here for the baggage collection system. And I started running in the uh, conveyor system to move the bags around. All good, except for two issues that turned up while I was trying to record that episode. And the issues are this. When the two stands that were here were finished building, and I went into the scheduler, uh, which is, of course, everyone's favourite pastime, and we went along with the scheduler. Imagine, if you will, that we have two additional stands down here and no increase in traffic. Some of these, I think it was... Uh, no, maybe not. Okay. Anyway no increase in traffic and no additional airlines coming in. So what we ended up with, with stands that were not being used, or in other words, we couldn't fully utilize all our stands all the time. So if you look here, for example, Tuesday's chockers, Monday's chockers, Sunday, and, and to me, that's an efficient use of our airport. If we start having empty spaces in stands, then we're really, um, you know, basically we've overbuilt and we're not running lean and mean. So that was the first issue. And the second issue was when I went down here and went and had a look at the cargo bay, clicked on cargo bay, went up here to where I had the building, which was um, onto this road here so that our trucks could come and pick up the bags and take them to the aircraft. I clicked on it, and it registered it for building, but it didn't build it. And, of course, the reason it didn't build it is because if you go over here and look at procurement, we will find that the baggage handling system hasn't been unlocked, and even then it needs $250,000 to unlock it. So even though it is available in the menu to build, I couldn't build it because we hadn't paid for it and then by the time I realized that we had mm, I don't know can't remember now but I think it was fifty thousand dollars in the bank so I just abandoned the whole episode and then what I did was I reloaded the save which was the end of episode 29 and I started again and what I did was I got rid of these two stands here and then I did nothing else but schedule and run the airport until we got up to $455,000, which took a wee minute to do. But what that means is that in this episode, we're going to research the baggage and we've got the money to get on with the building of said baggage. So this is, in fact, without doubt, the great baggage episode number two. So having said that, Let's kick off straight away and go into, well, sorry, I should mention one more thing. Just before I started recording this episode, I also went through and did all the mate. So we don't need to do that immediately. But we are going to jump into procurement and spend a quarter of a million dollars and just get baggage handling. That's number one. Then we're going to go in and check scheduling. Well, which is, uh, you know what, well, we're we're up to date there. Got any gaps here? Not really. No, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, 
Tuesday. That's four very well utilised days. Uh, a little bit over on Stripe, Goose and Forest, but out, oh, and a little bit under on CLM. Hmm. Okay, but by and large, doing okay. Let's see how things go as we progress. So while we're researching that, let's just come down here and start building. We have $213,000 left. So this is what we're going to do. When I did the previous episode, and of course, I, I really can't tell about the spacing on these things, but I did estimate that our baggage handling facility should be about nine hexes. Nine hexes. Too much wargaming. Uh, nine squares wide. So this is what I laid out the road for, and this is where we're going to put the baggage handling. Now, I'm putting the baggage handling room as something very large on the sole purpose that uh, from previous gameplay, I remember there being additional things that you can add to baggage handling that require room. So that's what we're doing here. And then further down here, this is going to be our exit area. So we're just going to lay this out as well. And we are going to go level with there. And we're already down to $12,000. So there you go. Okay. But because we've got a dynamic and growing airport, this is not going to be a problem. The other thing I think we need to do is go down to operation and get our contractors. I think, yeah, we only have 10 contractors. So I'm going to go and get an extra 10 um, just to help speed things up a bit. But, of course, we're going to be sitting still for a minute while we build up some more money to do our build. So the plan is we have six small commercial stands and we have basically two full check-in desks here. Uh, and so what I think we ought to do is put another two check-in desks up here and then run our baggage collection system from here, up here, across this way, and then into what will be the main baggage handling area up here. That is the plan. And then down here will be the conveyor belt for people to pick up the baggage as they leave the airport. So people will not be leaving the airport through these doors anymore. They will, in fact, be leaving over here. And in fact, while we are talking about that, let's put a couple of doors in. How many in are you? One, two, three, four, hmm, five, five, five? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'll go six on this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, and we'll do this from the other end as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And some footpaths for people to walk on so that they can get down here to the bus depots, which we will find. No, not staff. Infrastructure. Thank you so very much. No, pedestrian way. Okay. All right. Cool. Very good. And job, job there. Still 13,000. Okay. Progressing along reasonably well very good now just while we're on this let's have a quick look at the cargo bay requirements and that is three squares 
So let's just get rid of that wall, the three squares, so we can put our cargo base straight in there. How many have we got? One, two, three, four, seven, eight, nine. Oh, excellent. Three. So these three right here. One, two, three. Very good. Hmm. Now we are going to move this exit, which is one, two, three, four wide, into probably, hmm, probably this spot to start with. One, two, three, four. Is that right? Cool. Okay. Okay, let's go up to three. Three, check scheduling, which of course is our favorite pastime of all pastimes. Still okay there, right? Very good. And the money is growing. So we are a profitable airport check maintenance yeah very good very good all right now let us also put a couple more check-in desks in Information, maybe. Info desk, maybe. Check-in desk, yes. Turn that around so that the baggage goes the right way. And put that like that. Very good. And we are going to have to improve our security. Why are they going through just one? That did not make any sense there. Okay, all good, okay. Now we will put our exit in, our secure, e oh, okay. We also need to do this. No, oh, did I just do that or not do that? Okay, we'll soon find out. Like so, very good, okay. That's our secure exit, and that will be our baggage pickup area. Now I'm, assuming that when we put in medium aircraft we will be able to add additional pickup areas over possibly on this side when we put medium aircraft in so that is the plan there so far so good 44. So how much do we actually need to build the um, cargo bay? 10,000. Okay, well, that's not that expensive. All right, so I, I think we're doing okay money-wise. I think we're doing okay. Whoa, look at that. No, that needs some care, love and care. <clears throat> okay. Going along quite nicely. Where are we up to? 19? When it passes midnight, we'll go back into the scheduler and have a look at what we're doing there. And um, move that along nicely, I think. Okay. How are we doing in terms of the procurement side of life? Seven hours left. Well, by morning. So we're expecting to have things cleared up by morning. And, oh, did we just get our doors put in? Let's have a sticky peek at that. Yeah, we did. Uh, I think, actually, just while we're waiting around, let's put some lights in. Be Hang on, where'd the lighting go? Oh, right, we get to choose high quality. Illuminated surrounding. Yeah, that seems like a good idea. We could do to illuminate our surround. Mm -hmm. 
dum 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 If you were a surrounding, you would now be illuminated. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Um, much like that, I would think. Although I'm not seeing... Oh, yeah, well, they haven't built it yet, of course, so that makes sense. Okay, 73,000. <clears throat> Let us begin by putting in some of the... conveyor belt which are in baggage and you have a choice of two above ground and below ground so these are automatically above ground because that's where you come into the airport and you put your bag and these guys are above ground but we are going all the way up here like so and we're not doing that one. No, that's wrong. So we need to delete you and put you in like so. Okay, how are we looking now? That looks okay. So, oh, all right. <clears throat> so. Right, we need to go across there. So again, we make sure the arrows are pointing the right way. We go up. We will stop one short of the wall to make it easy for us to check things out. We will go across here. And because we're not sure how much space we're going to need to do this, we will go all the way across here like this. We will turn like this and we will go all the way to there. And then, and then, I hear you cry, we will go above ground. So that now, um, we are in fact visible to the naked eye. And we have begun. <clears throat> so... Let's just go back and check our procurement again. Product is unlocked. Well done, us. Okay, so now we're going to put in the cargo bay. Uh, like, like, not so, like so. Like so. And that's where we're going to leave that for a minute. Now, I think from a, 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 <clears throat> I think from a, staffing point of view we probably want to make this a staff zone this is what I'm thinking um, and cover the entire area down to there and then we probably need to allow staff to get in there I would think so let's just have a quick squeeze at this for a second Let's put it over here so we can actually see it. My recollection is that the right-hand side of the baggage carousel, if you will, is where the bags from the check-in come. And the left-hand side is where the bags from the aircraft are delivered to and take off. So there'll be trucks going in and out the side. So leave us put a door... Of course, this could all prove to be terribly not a good idea. But leave us put a door um, possibly down here so that at least our guys won't get run over by trucks and stuff coming in and out of the 
baggage handling bay. Okay. Right. Seems to be going along fairly well. Now, let's also go and have a sticky beak at staff, I think, at this point as well. And uh, let's see what we've got. We've got airport staff, executives, janitors, ramp agents, security, service technician. We probably need some more aircraft staff, I'm going to say. And let's look at our, my gosh. Not not a very good looking group, are they? Look at all the red. Hmm. The other thing the game I'm not picking up on is what impact these actually have on the behaviour or performance in relation to how the game actually runs. Uh gosh. All right. Well, I suppose. Gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. All right, that's that's really a trade-off situation, that one. Okay. We are still building. Uh, we've even started building the underground conveyor belt here. It's before we even got to the chicken desk. Okay. All right. So it definitely doesn't build in order of how you assign the build. All right, let's go check our flight scheduler. Uh, what's going on here? Okay, flight scheduler. Now let's go to Tuesday. Tuesday's fine. Wednesday, plenty of opportunities on Wednesday. All right, let's do this. We got 15 for CLM. So let's go with fours. Fours are pretty good. Okay. And then we'll pick a expensive one. Two seven. Two seven sounds pretty good. Okay, CLM. Boris, we've got six. Oh, there's a five. Okay. And we'll just go down the page until we are done. There's a four. Uh, maple? Oh, maple wasn't very many. Hang on. Maple. Two. Okay. Um, maybe we'll just take singles for maple. Two six is a good number. Two six and there's two five. There's the two six. That's a two there. Two seven. There's the two seven. That's a single. Okay, Maple's done. Skylink. I didn't even check Skylink. What have we got? Thirty three. So we got seven. Ah, uh, there's a six. There's a six. You know what, sure. You get lazy after a while and just want to put the big big runs in as opposed to the ones with the most money. Here's a two six. Let's be nice and put the two six in as well. Uh, and stripe, 39 out of 50, so we definitely go a five here. This one's pretty good. That's two five. Let's take the two five. Put that one uh, over there. Very good. So CLM's got 12. CLM's got 12. That's four. And what have we got here? Two, three. You know what? Two, seven is good. Uh, eight for forest. Any big numbers? Got a four. Got a three at two six, which is okay. Uh, a 
Goose, goose. Ooh, look at goose. I'm going to take the 2 7. No, we just keep going down the list until we fill up. That way, hopefully, everyone gets serviced and we get some good numbers coming in. So that was Maple. So what's under Maple? Sky Link 39, 43. The Stripe, 43. There's a nice five. Two, four, and we're done. Look at that. Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday, Sunday, Saturday. Pretty good. Pretty good going there. Okay. Still building. $161,000 now. So let's go and do some more things in our airport, which we need to do, which is put flooring in and make things look pretty. Always important. So we've kind of got a scheme here where that's the non-secure area. So I feel like we should put a flooring in that tells us automatically where our secure zones are. Uh, and I don't even remember. I think this one might be the go. Let's just try it out. Because we can always change. Oh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I, I like the plane. And I like how it's white and easy to tell what's going on. Okay, can we do that? So our report's coming together slowly, cause, but now, of course, we are making money, whereas before we were struggling a bit. So that's, that's all to the good, right? Sure it is. Okay. So we've spent a bit of money there. We've got that in. We should probably look at seating soon as well. Now, where do our new check-in desk go to? They are automatically assigned? Yes, they are. And I guess we can check that by going up here to our stands. Oh, okay. All they could do is some maintenance. All right, maintenance. Okay, we're just going along here doing our regular maintenance. Do 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 Okay. Looking pretty good. <clears throat> Now, in, in this view, you can see, actually, that our conveyor belt actually comes up here, and that's the only part we can see when we look at it from this view. Because everything else is underground, and we can't see underground in this particular view. It is taking its wee while. Now, we also should check to see if we need different trucks. I feel that could be a thing. The fuel truck, the push force, pull force service truck. Which one of these guys does baggage? Small, okay, let's hang, hang on. What have we got up here? Let's not go large, let's go... There's only small and large. Is that all there is? All right. The small push force push back truck is the perfect force to reckon with when you need an aircraft to be relocated. This truck will suffice any pushing needs for medium class aircraft. Okay. Who does baggage?
The large pool first service truck is a work horse service truck and a solid must for any cargo and baggage hauling need. Right. I'm hearing that this will do it as well. But you know what? I'm going to just go with... Um, can I not cancel that? No, I can't cancel that. All right. I've ordered one. I need to come back and order two more because I think three is the way to go. If you've got uh, six stands, I think probably we need one truck for two stands because you're loading and you're unloading. Ooh, and we've got congestion going on up here very heavily. All right. Do we need to look at, I'm going to go up to here, do we need to look at our second runway yet? And in addition to that, should we go one runway for takeoff, run one runway for landing? Or should we go one runway for general aviation and one runway for commercial? Tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. What have we got here? Allowed aircraft types. Oh, okay. So we can differentiate by size and by commercial or general. Hmm. So let's think about this for a second. If we were to have... Ooh, don't do that. Stop it. Stop it. If this was the general aviation one, it's fine. If we brought commercial in and it used a single runway over here, it will come across here and up here. And then we still end up with congestion in this area, though. Except that we could, commercial aircraft could come up here and they wouldn't queue up down here but they would queue up on landing. Or we could run it up here and use this one for takeoff. Is the congestion that bad that we're actually going to worry about it? Mm, don't actually know about that one. Don't actually know about that one. All right, now we're kind of waiting up here for our uh, cargo bay construction to be built before we can actually go ahead and join that up. And then additionally, we have to have a pickup point down here. And I think it might be worthwhile having two areas set aside, one for small commercial and one on this side for medium commercial, which we are going to have to get to sooner or later. We're 33 minutes in. Let's push on until we finish. That is the great plan, and that is the great imperative in the great baggage episode number two. All right, looks like we're building the baggage bay. And the baggage bay is built. Airport baggage handling service is disabled. This cargo bay cannot transfer baggage. Station ramp agents, right. We need ramp agents. Because you betcha gazoobies, we're going to have to have some of those to operate this. I'm not even sure we've got enough of it is. Wow, look at these guys. Again, with the red everywhere. Wow. Well, sort of limiting my choices, buddy. All right, okay, well, you know what we're going to do? Uh... Are that applicants? Oh, wow. Look at the red. Man, talk about not much of a choice on anything here. Well, we need two per side. So we're going to need a minimum of four. What happened there? Oh, we got more. Okay. Um, does pleasantness actually count if you're a ramp agent? I suppose it does. What's that? Logic skill. 
All right. Look, I think that'd probably be enough. Okay. All right. Now we need to get this thing set up and going. So let us go here. Go above ground. Now, where do we come in on this one? We come in up here. Right. Come in up here. Um, sure. I'm flexible on the whole connecting thing. Right. And then you're coming along this way. Right. Then this way. And then this way. And that would appear to work. Right. Now, oh, we got our exit over here. So now I think we can get rid of this dude. Did I just delete him or not? You know what? Let's let's just do this. Object mark for deletion. Okay, fine. Okay, we got the exit. Now we need to mark this room as a domestic baggage claim area. Outside the secure zone and contain conveyor belts to operate. Yes. Okay. Area is too small. No, it's not. It's huge. Huge, I tell you. Thank you. All right. Now, this is the tricky bit. How are we going to design our belts in here so that people can pick up their stuff? So, here we go. This is what I think we're going to do. We run it down here like this. Keep, well, actually, let's go over this way a bit. Because I think all the add-on builds for um, luggage are on the, before they go in the, air, in the aircraft side. But the coming out from the aircraft, there's nothing to do. So we bring them down here. We come across over here. And we need... We need enough space for lots and lots of people to stand around and collect their bag. So we could do a simple oval, like down here and around there and up, and people can mill all around the outside and pick up their luggage. We could do a kind of a zigzaggy thing, which maybe, I don't know, could work. I'm not feeling it, though. I think double loop. You feel double loop? I'm feeling double loop. Now how would we double loop that? Uh, they come through there. Actually, we come out here. We have a loop there. Actually, you know what we could do? We'll build a single loop to start with, and then if we need to, we'll build a second loop. And we can link the two loops underground if it becomes necessary. A cunning and devious plan, if I say so myself. All right, let's go down here and have a look uh, where the arrows are pointing, because I cannot see where the arrows are pointing. Right, I think... Gosh, I can't see those. Oh, yeah, they're down now. Okay. So we need space for the guys to stand around. So we will go down to there. Right. We will turn you that way and we will go across to there maybe. That right. Then we will go uh, up to there. Uh, no, see, it's running the wrong way. Is it? I can't see. Yes, it's running the wrong way. My bad. All right, we'll get rid of all of that. Okay, do not build. Thank you. No. 
No, see. Gosh, these guys. Okay, look, stop it. We're going down to single speed now. Um, right, so back to baggage. And the above. And that's better I can see now. And up. Okay, listen, guys. Get rid of that. It's it's disrupting the plan, the great vision. It's disrupting the great vision. Okay, really? Come on. Get rid of this thing. All right, so uh, more baggage. Right, so while we're there, we are going to... Mark this area as a staff zone only because what we found in previous episodes is that the passengers can walk across the conveyor belt and stand in the middle and pick things up. And aesthetically, that's not sort of the look we're going for here. But this, this one is starting to bug me now. This guy up here. We need to fix... Come on, I want to fix that so we can get on with this. Gentlemen, you are not assisting the airport in its time of need. Right, well... Ah. Uh, that's a small other problem too. Right. So this is above ground. So we're going to put you there. And then we're going to put an underground, which is uh, like so. Yep, okay, very good. Would someone please delete that? Like, seriously. All right, now I'm, now I'm just getting irritated. Seriously, object mark. Now it deletes it? Okay, all right. Okay, fine. Underground. 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 And going that way. That way? Of course it's that way. Right. Okay. Um, we know how this works. What? Are you not? Okay. Did you already delete that? And the answer is maybe. So what did that do? Did that come up and over, did it? That's bizarre. Underground conveyor belt. Underground conveyor belt. Uh, where did we run this? Second front, one down, right? So we will continue with that, if you like, convention. This one here, run all the way down to there. I don't understand that. But sure, it works, that's fine. Then we need to come off here, uh, which we will do... Actually, we don't need this above ground, I think, at this point. We'll just... We will run it down. Let's go um, to here. Azoi. And then we'll go underground. And we'll go maybe out there like that. Sure. It's all the way over there. So where's that? No, no, we don't want to go all the way. Okay. Okay. We're going down. Okay, how are we doing money once? 280. We are raking in the money. I mean, seriously, dudes. Okay, uh, one there. We turn um, to the left and we come across here like so. And there you go. Uh, surprisingly enough, boys and girls, that is baggage handling 101 almost Dunskies. Um, what we do need, though, 
is some um, completion of construction so that we can turn this thing on. Oh, and some more pushback trucks under contracts for procurement for the large pushback truck. Where's the large pushback truck? Speak to me. Sorry, large push force truck. We get two more of those. And we end up with a total of three. Hang on, checking this out. Service truck. Fuel truck. Speak to me. Fuel, 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 service. I don't think this thing is playing nicely. All right, hang on. I would be very tempted now. Station ramp agents per side two. Baggage bay connection. Airport baggage handling service is disabled. This cargo bay cannot transfer baggage. Okay, I'm not going to turn it on until we've built everything. That would seem like a disaster recipe for waiting to happen. Hmm. And these things here don't look so crash hot either. Um, listen, guys, just keep the airport running along. I don't want you to stand at the airport uh, aircraft stand and just hang around. Okay. I remember vaguely that you had to link stands with baggage handling, right? Connect baggage bay. Ah. Gotcha. Okay. One. Two. Of course, we could have different baggage bays for different aircraft types as well. Um, that would be kind of neat. And still connecting. Okay. The flexibility of being able to connect up this miss aircraft. Okay. Um, the ability to select which cargo bay you want to send baggage to is actually going to be quite useful for us because we will probably set up a separate one for the medium commercial when we build them. So I think that will be good. Right, the baggage bay, the baggage collection area is good. This still needs some building. But once this is done there, then I think I think we're good to go. Yep, I think we're good to go. So let's go and check scheduling for a minute because, well, who doesn't like a good scheduling? Ooh, Thursday's looking pretty good. 38 to 45. All right, let's do you. Six, 38 to 45. Yep, we can fit six in there. Six is good. Forest, what do we got? We got fours, fours of two seven, like fours of two seven. Goose, 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 goose. Um, here's a nice three, two seven. Okay. Here's a goose. Maple, 34. Oh, maple's got a six there, that's nice. Skylink, oh, another six. I didn't even check to see how much we, space we had on Skylink, but I took the six anyway. Why not? 38 out of 40. Four. Yep, four is good. And got one more in CLM. So we want maybe a two six. Any advance on two six? Two six wins. That's a 2-6. Forest, got quite a few on Forest. So we got um, 
We got a four. Four is good. Four for forest. Well, we got goose. 38 out of 50. So we've got a six on goose, so we're going to take that for sure. Ah. Ah, whatever. They'll work it out. Maple's 40 out of 50. 2 7 is good. Any advance on 2 7? 2 7 wins. Okay. Skylink got quite a lot, actually. Oh, there's the six. That'll take the pick. Uh, 42 out of 50. Ooh, nice. Five. Five. Two, four. Two, four. Mm. No, we we'll take the two, four. I mean, we are doing pretty well money-wise. CLM's max. We got eight. Eight on this dude. So we're going to go with the two. Okay, so that's forest, then goose has got six. So that's a two, Ooh, two sevens, nice. And that's it. Thursday is done. What's Friday like? Oh, we even got room on Friday. Okay, we're down to goose. Maple's got eight. Two six, two six. Two six wins. That's Maple. Then Skylink's got nine. Bargain, there's a five. Okay. It's all coming together. Stripe's got three. There's a two. Well, we might as well not. Okay, so we're 45, we're 40, we've got six. So we're singles now. So two, two, six. And one more for good measure. Another two six. We we'll put him down here. And then Goose has got four. Goose two five for four. You know what? I, I quite like the two seven. Why not, right? Sure. Maple maple six. Uh two six. Yeah, two six. And that's it. We are, we are rocking and rolling, and look at the money down here, 282000 We're doing okay, and we're still building that. All right, come on, guys. Let's get a bit of a shake on here. Got an airport to run. Got people dirtying up the corridors, doing all sorts of things they shouldn't be doing. Not in my airport, buddy boy. Right, so how about some new flooring? What do you think it should look like when we're leaving the airport? So we've got white for security. Check it for non-secure. Hmm. Oh, low quality strikes me as the way to go here. Concrete tile floor. Yeah, we don't care, do we? Nope. We don't. Hey, concrete. Actually, you know what? That doesn't look too bad. Let's put concrete tile floors up here. Where to go? Concrete floor, concrete like, concrete tile floor. I quite like that design there. All right, you know what? That pretty much looks like it's done skis. It does. It looks done to me. Let's turn that on. Verify that this baggage bay is connected to a check-in desk. Oh. Baggage bay connect. Can you do that, can you? Okay, hold on. Did we not do that? Ah, we didn't do that either. Okay, so, right. So you check in, you check in. You check in check-in desks and you check in uh, aircraft stands as well. So I guess in that scenario, it would be possible to have incoming and outgoing as well. Oh, you could make this really complicated. 
I mean really complicated. All right, now, if I got this right, which maybe I do, we should have four down there, one, two, three, four, and we should have one, two, three, four, five, Six. Yeah, okay, we've got six. All right, we're good. All right, turn it on. Right, and nothing happens. Excellent. And then we should go over to operations and baggage handling system enabled. And now we should try and turn it on because... Open cargo bay. Verify that, yeah. I don't see what the red is for. Per side. No ramp agents. Baggage bay. This cargo bay is deactivated and cannot transfer baggage. Decreased number of employees. Increase. Where are they? Where are the agents? The ramp agents. Where are they? Do I need to secure that area? Okay, let's secure the area. That is probably not a bad idea. Actually, you know what? Let's secure the entire area. Because otherwise you're going from a a secure area to an insecure area and you probably can't get back in again. But we do need ramp agents. Do we need to hire more ramp agents? What's going on with ramp agents? Okay, let's slow this down for a second. Okay, employees. Filter by all. No, filter by ramp agents. If we've got eight, no, we've got six stands. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we've got two sides to the baggage handling thing. So we've got one, two, one, two. We've got one spare. Just in case. I mean, just in case, right? Let's hire some more people. Cargo bay is deactivated and will not operate. Okay, the question is why? Open cargo bay. Verify that this baggage bay is connected to a check-in desk? Yes. A stand? Yes. A baggage... Ah, a baggage claim area. Right, hold that thought. Hold that thought. A baggage claim area. Well, who would have thought of that? Everyone except me, I would think. Okay, let's. Uh-huh, right. You happy with that? Sure. I am. What's that? Open room. You have to open the room as well? Huh, hmm. Well, hmm. well, that's what the man said. Let's try now, shall we? Oh, look, it works, except now we don't have any employers. Well, that's, that's improvement. At least now we know it's the slack staff that we're hiring who can't even show up for work when they're required to. Or to quote the old adage, good staff is so hard to find. All right. Um, where are our baggage trucks? Where are our staff? What is going on? Okay, let's, let's rock this along a bit. We need staff, man. Otherwise, we can't do this. We've got new applications. What have we got? Contracts, right? Procurement. We got the spam filter. You know what? Actually, you know what? I'm going to get the spam filter. Why aren't you... Oh, right. I need a CIO. 
baggage handling system is unlocked. Right, these are these two down here are additional baggage handling things that we can add in. And that's what we're doing. Oh, we got staff. All right, now we want to watch some baggage handling taking place. And once we are sure we've got a complete cycle on baggage handling, we can close the episode a whole glorious hour so far into just baggage. Come on, I want to see some staff activity down here, guys. Now, who are you and why are you standing around? You are Karen Anderson. And you are airport staff. Uh, and you are... Oh, that's me. I'm Grumpy Gamer. Hey. I didn't even know you appeared in the game. That's pretty cool. All right, come on, guys. We want to see some baggage going on down here. I mean, baggage. Come on, who doesn't like baggage? I'm not feeling it, you know. Okay, where where are people? Why are there no people? What time is it? Twelve o'clock in the afternoon. Come on, there should be flights everywhere. Or do we have to wait until tomorrow until this kicks in? And where are the baggage handling trucks? Oh, there they go, there. All right. Well, okay. Let's let's run this up a bit to two. Oh, look at that. Oh, we need to fix that. Okay. Okay, here we go. There's a plane. What's he got? Requested services. I can't even read this. Hmm. I'm not seeing baggage handling. Ah, uh, where's this guy going? He looks like a baggage handler. Yes. Okay. What is what is going on with him? All right, we're going to follow this guy because I think he's a baggage handler. Oh, okay. Hang on. We're going to go down to normal speed just here and watch him do his thing. And there's no baggage on his tray. And now there's baggage on his tray. Cute. So the guys take it. They put it on the conveyor belt. It goes down here. Vanishes underground, as you do. And with a bit of luck, well, with a bit of luck, a small amount of luck, and patience, and conveyor belt. Hello? Hello? This, this is where the great weight comes in. You know, all the infrastructure bills, all the money, the engineering, the digging of holes and putting of conveyors in. And this is where the rubber hits the road. Probably quite literally, because most conveyor belts have got rubber in them, or they used to. Nowadays, I think it's hard plastic a lot of the time. And is our friend here waiting for his luggage? Oh, he's got no energy left either. He's Argentinian. He's Franco. Ooh, I hope it's not the Franco that ruled Spain for so long. But anyway, up oh, baggage. There we go. Let's watch Mr. Franco pick up his baggage. Actually, let's click on him and see where he goes. So from aircraft to pickup, I think we could say we're working. His bladder's okay. He's got no energy, though. He's not hungry. He's, he's having a ton of fun, and he's quite satisfied. Here he goes. What's he done? What's he done? Ooh. Uh, Mr. Gomez, you need to pick up your baggage. 
I guess the lack of energy means he's very tired from a long flight. All right. This is fine, but... Well, actually, in fact, this is quite reminiscent of my experience at international airports or even domestic airports waiting for the baggage to appear on the rotating carousel. Ah, yes, the excitement of it all. And then, of course, you get those wonderful situations where half a dozen people bought the same bag you bought. So if you haven't tied a ribbon around it or something, you've got to go up and look half a dozen times ago while people stare at you like, why are you looking at my baggage? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Oh, he got his back? No. Come on, Franco, stay focused, man. Ah, oh, look at that. It even links to individual bags. And why has it just stopped? Hello? Why has the baggage carousel stopped? This is marked for rescue, marked for removal. Oh, my gosh, you can control individual bags. Really? So Franco Gomez came from Southampton to Stockholm. Did he? What an odd flight. I suppose he would. The baggage carousel has stopped moving. Why? Because there's no new bags to put on the carousel, of course. But he has not picked up his bag. All right, let's just speed this up a bit, because sooner or later... Oh, two, two. No, it's still not running. Oh, he got... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop, stop, stop. Whoa, stop. Hang. Wait, where'd he go? Hang on. Whoa, stop, man. Did he get his bag? I didn't see him get his bag. Height, bag. Actually, he's quite short. 1.2 metres. 1.2 metres? What? Eh. Well, I guess not weighing very much either. 57 kilos. He's quite small, actually. Okay, all right. So he's going. We cannot tell if he picked up his luggage or not. But we can assume that he did. At least I'm going to assume that he did. Right. So we know that the baggage is getting from the aircraft to the passengers in the pickup area and out. But is it, is it, I ask you, getting in through the check-in desk? And that's what we need to now work out. And the answer is, I can't tell. Officially, that's my answer. So, what is happening? Nothing. Right. We need flights to be coming in and out. Hold on. It's scheduling. We're scheduling. Right. All the current flights, all the passengers for them are checked in. We won't get new passengers for, I think it was two hours before the flight. So when's that? That's eight. So about 7 o'clock at night, 1,900 hours. And we should do some scheduling. Yep, we should. We should. We really should. You know what? Let's not do that now. Let's just go for watching bags come in. So 7 o'clock at night. We've got a little while. It's only 5 o'clock in the afternoon. All right, let's, let's stick a couple of things in the scheduler. Thursday's good. Friday's good. Saturday. Okay. CLM. CLM, CLM, CLM. Oh, nice five. Oh, six. Actually, that six at two five is better than five at two three. You like the way that works out? Sure you do. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the airport of the future. Welcome to Grumpy's at Stockholm, where your every wish is completely and utterly ignored by our ground staff because we're not here to make you happy we're here to make some money. Mm. 
that would be your average commercial flight, I suspect. Maple is year two five. Yeah, two five. Okay, we two. We do have some. Uh, okay, what are we doing? Forty three. Gonna go with the two seven. Wow, that is a seriously good one. I'd be happy with that. Okay. And six there at 2.7. Wow, that is nice too. All right. All right, that'll do for just now. Let's go back here and have a look. The situation is almost 6 o'clock at night, so let's just concentrate on this for a minute. We want to see bags happening. That's what we want to see. Is that the CEO of this wonderful airport? No, it's not. He's airport stuff. I was here. Ah, here we go. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop, stop, stop. Bags. Did you see that? Bag. There's no uh, indicator there that they're actually going underground, which I kind of don't like, but you know what? I'm okay with that. So if we go up here, up here, up here, we should see bags come out here at some point. Waiting, waiting. I wonder where the airport CEO, that grumpy gamer guy, went. I didn't even know your character appeared in the game, but I don't know that it's his location or her location has much to do with how the game plays. We want baggage. We want baggage. We want baggage. When do we want baggage? Now. How do we want baggage? By conveyor belt. Yeah, and all that sort of stuff. One hour, 12 minutes and 31 seconds. And we are waiting for baggage. Oh, look, there's tons of baggage there. I wonder if it's the same baggage. Oh, no, here it comes. Oh, look at that. Hang on. All the bags are connected to an individual person. Ooh. And you get baggy. That's Fatima Khan. She's, it, has, it hasn't been scanned. She has closed. But the content is unknown. And it's going on its way to the baggage bay, so the clothes. But how do you know it's clothes if the contents are unknown? Okay, whatever. All right, hang on. This is this is looking pretty good. We've actually pulled this off. We have actually pulled this off. All right, so baggage. I wonder what these guys are. Of course, that could just be the graphic. Just, you know, for the sake of it having bags on the collect conveyor belt. So what we want to do is track this to an aircraft. And then once we know that it's um, it's been loaded. Is that Fatima? No, that's Chloe O'Reilly. It's actually a real bag. Chloe O'Kelly. So what's your issue? You're unloading, right? Got ramp agents. We do have ramp agents, don't we? Yeah, you're a ramp agent. You are a ramp agent. I'm only seeing two. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe we don't have any ramp agents to load these guys up. Well, if we put that up to three, what will happen? Uh, well, of course, the bags are there, but that doesn't mean the planes arrived either. Maybe we should have checked on Fatima and find, found out what plane was coming in. 
Okay, so that nothing's going to happen there until the plane comes in. So just hang on a sec. So nothing's coming in now until these guys leave. So quickly, they should have already left. What? Why are they still on the runway? What? Because the bags aren't loaded? Okay. Ah, here we go. Okay, well, where are you going? Hang on. Okay, hold it. Hold it. Stop. But you were waiting in pickup. Let's have a look. I don't see anything on you. All right, let's have a look at this guy. Maybe he'll do something. And he came in and he went out and he is... Maybe he's empty? I don't know. Nobody's there. I mean, literally nobody's there. There are no aircraft on the stands at all. All right. So a plane comes in. Odessa International in the Ukraine. We are getting some pretty serious congestion here. Yeah, I think we're going to have to do something with the congestion. We certainly have the money to do it. But that's not going to be an issue for us. So next episode, ladies and gentlemen, I think we're going to go with the second runway. And I think we'll take the easy approach to do that. And we'll just have one for landings and one for takeoff. I think that's the best. Because we've got some pretty solid congestion up here. Hmm. Okay. Radio. Okay, let's, let's just clear this for a sec. Hmm. Yeah, this, this is a problem. This is actually a real problem. And this is not, this is going to run on because the planes are going to get to the stands late. They're going to leave late. And we're going to end up with queues everywhere and missed flights. That's not going to end well for us unless we fix this up. So next episode, the plan is extra runway. And I also think we might upgrade our runways as well. Okay, so these guys now come in, right? And they are going to be offloaded with baggage. So let's just see how that goes. Well, so many of them came in at once. So they need fueling and they need baggage collected. I wonder if they're going to collect all the baggage first before they take the baggage out. Well, we probably need to be watching that. Oh, there goes a guy. Where are you going? Are you going to a plane? Yes, you are. Hold on, buddy. And you are loading. Okay. All right. That's it, we've seen a load. Okay, we have seen a load. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it. The great baggage episode number two in and functional. We have baggage operations at our airport. And I thank you very much for joining me. And I look forward to seeing you in our next episode, which will not be one hour and 20 minutes long. So thank you very much. Hope you stay well until then. If you've enjoyed the episode, please press the like button. And if you feel so inclined, 
thank you very much for subscribing. And until next time, it's bye for now.